Well, I did not come from background in contracting other than the decorative art business my wife had. Uh, but, you know, I did have a background in electrical control systems, mechanical systems, and that certainly helped in moving into the solar industry. I do work with a lot of people that come from a pretty diverse background as uh, non-technical individuals, people that might be in real estate or people that might work in accounting and they are interested in renewable energy and like any industry there's a range of jobs that are available for people from you know accountants to uh, insurance agents that do relate to solar in fact many insurance agents now are starting to learn more about solar to help them in in their businesses and relate to a new industry that is growing For me, I think the first step that I thought uh, was appropriate was learning a little bit about the industry and then training. I've always been a strong advocate of education and seeing the value of it, and I realized that the best chance of me having a hope of working in what's a very competitive industry was to get uh, the best education I possibly could. So I went to the largest trade show, met a lot of people, and I asked all the people at the show, uh, where should I get my training? And everybody I spoke with said Solar Energy International, Solar Energy International, to a man. So uh, I also took a class at that trade show. I think it was titled something along the line of Find Your Dream Job in Solar. It was only a couple hours. Andy Black spoke, talked a bit about SCI, and SCI had a booth there, spoke with them, and I decided uh, after having gone back home after the trade show and talking to my wife about what I had seen to take the uh, training workshops and uh, took one that was relatively close to home about a 90 minute drive away down in Tucson. It was a great experience. The thing that I felt really differentiated SEI from all the other solar training organizations or I should say from, from all the training that I've done is uh, uh, the people that were educating me during that class were very experienced in the technology and were very entertaining so it made it uh, it made the class a really fun experience for all the students that were there and we had a very diverse group of students we had people that uh, were straight out of college without any technical experience whatsoever folks that were going to work on the roof as solar installers we had uh, electrical engineers people like myself that came from a sales background we had uh, some older folks that uh, you know, were just interested in the technology, but the class as a group really had a fun time, and and they made the learning interesting. So uh, after completing that experience, I took the advanced PV training course, which was much more intense, but incredibly worthwhile. And uh, realize up until this point, this is a course of September through May, so about an eight month period from the time I attended the trade show till I completed my. Uh, advanced PV training. I hadn't started looking for a job because I didn't even want to look for a job until I had completed training. And I would recommend that anybody that really wants to get in this industry would benefit tremendously by preparing by taking quality training like the beginning of advanced PV training because prospective employers have so many people applying for these jobs that have no training, no knowledge in the industry whatsoever. And I can say having been a hiring manager looking for somebody to hire in, in this industry, it's tremendous when you find somebody who by their own initiative has taken uh, the beginner and advanced PV training classes. And while they may not have yet worked in the industry, it certainly shows that they're serious about the industry so much so that they're willing to pay a couple thousand dollars to, to end a couple weeks of their time to, to take some some uh, training on the topic. Uh, immediately after completing the advanced PV training, I did contact a company that I had met at this initial trade show that I had some good conversations with, and uh, a few months later I was hired on as the director of training for AE Solar. If somebody's serious, there's always a way. I, I truly believe that, and uh, probably the, the a couple ways that you can find get experience without getting paying work initially is to join the local solar associations. Uh, probably ACES and the ACES chapters are some of the more active around the United States I've seen. There's some chapters of the Solar Energy Industry Association that are also active and have regular meetings that attract people that are out there doing this work. And if you go to those meetings, believe me, free help 
uh, doesn't always work for these companies, but in many cases it can work if you get to know the people that are at these meetings and let them know that you are interested in getting some experience. The best advice that I can give anybody that wants to get in this business, and not everybody can do it, is to install a system on your own home. Now that typically is advice that is relevant for business owners. If you're an electrical contractor and you want to start designing and installing solar systems, there's absolutely no substitute to designing and installing your own system. Even if you make mistakes, that's okay because you've done it on your own home and you learn from those mistakes. So that's plain and simple the best way to get hands-on experience without going to work in the industry. Uh, the next best thing is is helping somebody else that might want to install their own system, but I would caution anybody that wants to help somebody do this installation work. It's very dangerous work and you need to uh, if, if, I feel that at the very least before you're getting up on the roof and dealing with high voltage DC systems that you get at least that basic one week training so you have respect for those elements of solar that are deadly and uh, once you've gotten to that point you'll probably find it's not terribly complex if you've completed a week long course there's many installer companies out there that are looking for experienced installers and uh, if you say to them hey you know try me out or or let me uh, come out to a job site to, to interview you you can you can get some visual experience at least watching the process take place and then uh, uh, there are insurance considerations to having people being on a job site if they're not getting paid so that can be a, a, a challenge but uh, if you go to the meetings, if you become networked with the local solar associations, in my opinion, it's not overly complex. What most people fail to do is take seriously the need to do this networking and to stay with it and to volunteer. It, it, it works like magic and very few people tend to really appreciate that.